some languages are better at borrowing words from other languages, uh, and some languages are not so open to that. And Lakota is one of those languages that don't borrow words from other languages very easily. Lakota language speakers prefer to create new words, neologisms for new concepts. Antarctica. Okay, we have we have Osni Osni Makoche as a cold land, cold area of land. We have the options of using wa, which means snow. We have chaga. So a group of elders uh, meets every year to create new words for Lakota. And Makoche, of course, is land to work on neologisms. And it's a group of dedicated elders, and many of them experienced who have come to Lakota Summer Institute many times. And they discuss possible translations or possible new words. And in that process, they sometimes come to a number of different possibilities. Makawita in the dictionary has been written as continent. Makawita and they put chaga in front of it for ice continent. You want to take a vote on that? Okay. And then they vote on them, you know, which one is most uh, popular in the group. And that way they come up with uh, new terms. And then these terms, these new words, are in turn used in the immersion schools. One, two, three, four. Okay, vote on each one of those. One, five, four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones, eight ones, nine ones, and one five. Number one gets 15 votes, uh, 15 points. Number two, 19 points. Number three, 14 points. And number four, 38 points. Okay, the majority of them gets uh, goes to I think a nice word is the, the word for red blood cell because it's uh, both short and descriptive. It's, it says wet which means uh, where means blood. Tchap is a word shortened from tchapa, ball. So it's a blood ball, sha, red, la, small one. I think it's a, it's a great neologism that's both very descriptive the way that Lakota speakers like it, but also short and usable.